So, you know, everyone wants to know when is disclosure going to happen. And this is the message that I got last night. I got it before, but they reiterated last night that this is how disclosure is happening. At least for now, okay? It's already happened, and I believe that for the moment, they've done about as much as they're going to do toward disclosing the extraterrestrials, I mean. Because um, there's still so many who, have, who are making the free will choice to not look at this stuff, to not believe in this stuff, and who are not ready for it. And for all those that are willing, for all those that are interested, for all those that just have an open mind, disclosure's already happened because several, if not all, media outlets have reported that governments all over the world have already disclosed that they not only have seen countless UFOs and have surveillance of them, but there's been several disclosures that were in contact with them. Now, those those come out and they're always from like a, a senior official at the White House, so they're semi-official disclosures. Some of them have been completely official. Uh, but still, even on when they're on Fox News, and they have been, Fox News, CNN, all the major outlets, you still don't have the majority of people feeling that disclosures happened because I guess the president isn't standing up there and shaking hands with an alien. But the other aspect of this is that for those who want to look, for those who want to know, look. That's what they're saying. Look up and you'll see. They're literally there for anyone that's willing to see. Now, like I spoke of in the last video, because of the time differential, they literally, and because of the... You have to understand that in higher density civilizations, they function much, much more off synchronicity than we do off our planning with our logical mind and our doing out of routines based on other people's ideas. So when you're in alignment, when your whole civilization is in alignment, you effectively, let, let's, let's say there we need two people for a job, right? Instead of appointing the two people, the two relevant people will just show up. No appointments necessary because they are both in alignment with source. They are both in synchronicity with their common collective. You know? So in this way, once you start opening up to it, they will know. Trust me. They will know, and they will be there. And it will not be random. Uh, someone asked me, what do they look like? So again, this is how you distinguish them, okay? First of all, if you just look up in the night sky every night, you'll quickly become familiar with what's up there, okay? And we all know planes and what they look like. Now, true... There are planes that fly in the upper atmosphere. Not that common, though. Okay? And they still have certain kinds of lights. Human planes are always flashing, and you get very used to the patterns, okay? Although some extraterrestrial crafts do blink lights occasionally, they will almost never be those continual patterns of lights that the humans see. And in my experience, there's almost no blinking. Only when they want to flash you. And it will be a deliberate flash. And they can do that any color, although I'll, I've only personally seen white, bright white flashes. So, um, so again, so what I'm seeing is steady light, okay? No flashing, except the occasional flashes, but it's just a steady light. It's way up there, so it's, it's, small, it's small enough that it's high enough so that all you can see is a, you know, it looks like a star, basically. Sometimes a really bright star. Sometimes a dim star. So you know they're in the upper atmosphere, okay? Now, from that, you have to remember, when craft are in the upper atmosphere, because of the arc, uh, that when they're traveling a, a perceived distance to you, the higher they are, the greater that actual distance is. You know, if they, if they go from here to here in your visual line, if that was 50 feet up, that might equate to a... a 20 foot travel, but if it's a mile up, you know, that might be a thousand feet. I have no idea the numbers are the same. So, uh, so you can start to judge the speed that they're going based how quickly do they traverse the whole sky. Now, if you'll notice, 
human aircrafts travel at a basically consistent speed, okay? Our craft, if you watch them fly uh, across the sky, it's like this. Right? So, now of course, we have craft that can double that. Maybe even triple. Very rare. The ones that double that, that would just be a jet. So that's not that rare, okay? And I don't know what the lightings on jet looks like at night, but you would certainly know if a jet was flying over you at night. One thing, that's another thing, is there's no sonic booms for a craft moving this fast, but even a jet will go like this. All right, now these things are, are moving like this. First of all, they're not flying in straight lines. They're literally going like this. In the beginning, I saw mainly straight lines, but once they once they started to like hang around above me, yeah, you're seeing them do this, and they, their speed can be anything from this, like it's, they're gone, if they want to be. You just see a flash. Yeah, so basically they can stop right there. So you're just looking at points of light, telling you it's high up, that can move very quickly if it wants to, behaving unlike regular craft, not flying in straight lines, and generally hanging around you. You know, if you just keep looking up, you'll, you'll, you'll clearly see. It'll look like stars just start moving around on you, and then they'll get brighter and brighter as they come lower. Uh, this, is all, this is all part of contact. This is you opening up. First you see they're there, then you see that you're actually important enough to them to communicate with, and it, you know, it, it all opens up from there. And as we all start doing this, as we all start going out and making individual contacts, and opening up to these things, that's when collective true landings will happen. <laughs> you know, that's when they'll really come here. Also, uh, someone asked what they look like. Now, I assume you meant the craft when you asked what they look like. But in case you meant the beings, um, as far as I know, I've, ne I've never seen any extraterrestrials physically uh, that I can recall. I have, but they weren't in this dimension. I wasn't in this dimension. So uh, I was physically in another dimension. I was in another state of consciousness in the fourth or fifth dimension, somewhere in there. I, I got pulled into a different space. Um, and all the other uh, contacts I've had were energetic. Now, generally, what I'm seeing there is almost is indescribable, um, but it's light it's energy, it's colors, it's patterns, but it lets me know it's consciousness, I can tell it's, I just know now for, you know, if it's just a dense ball of consciousness, you know, it's just light, and it, if it stays together, and it's, it's a being, pretty much, you know, uh, it's pretty much all consciousness, so everything is conscious, you can communicate with a toaster if you want to. Uh, but I have seen some occasional actual beings transmit through, uh, sometimes physically, sometimes energetic beings with a discernible face or shape, okay? And that has ranged from the, you know, the traditional gray uh, type Zeta type being or tall white to a uh, couple mantis perhaps and a couple reptilian uh, but mostly kind of light beings is what I'm, is what I'm seeing. Right, so, love and light.